Rob was happy with his work. Studying marine life had always been his dream, but he had this feeling that he could do more. One day, something unusual happened, and you will be shocked to find out what this dolphin did when Rob ignored its little signal. Welcome to Wonderbot Animals. While Rob was in the water that day, a dolphin came closer. At first, he didn't understand why the animal was trying to get his attention. When he took a better look, Rob saw that the animal was in trouble. It had a piece of plastic caught in its blowhole. Then, he felt something was very familiar about the dolphin. How could Rob forget? He had met this dolphin once before, a year ago. But the dolphin didn't forget the man who saved him from death. The animal was caught in an abandoned fishing net and Rob came across him during a dive and rescued him. During training, divers are taught not to interact with marine animals because it can get dangerous. But the dolphin was obviously in pain and danger. Rob couldn't help but do something. He swam to the surface to get a tool from the boat and cut the nest to release the dolphin. The animal bucked with joy as soon as the fishing net was cut. It celebrated its freedom by leaping out of the water. During its dance, Rob noticed that the dolphin had been stuck in the net for a while because it left a mark on its skin, just below the fin. The dolphin was too happy to be free, so he didn't notice the mark, and it quickly swam to join a partner who had been by his side while he was stuck. This made Rob feel cold inside. He had been where that dolphin was before, but unlike the animal, he had no one to help him. Rob loved going to the beach and being in the sea so much that he made it his job, but he had an experience that really traumatized him. He was happy with his life and he was known as the life of the party. But he wasn't always outgoing and fun. During his high school and college days, he was what people call a nerd. He loved to study and always buried his head in his books. Although he kept to himself, he was often bullied for not wearing cool clothes and having a quiet social life. However, all this didn't bother Rob. One day in the library during his senior year in college, he had an experience that would change the trajectory of his life forever. He saw her and it was love at first sight. Then he heard her friend call out to her. Julie, I found a book. Julie, it was a perfect name for a perfect girl. She grabbed the book and crossed the aisle, approaching his desk. Hi, can I sit here? She asked. They got to talking and exchanged numbers. It was one of the best conversations Rob has ever had. Julie was easy to talk to, and she didn't make him feel embarrassed or shy. Unlike Rob, Julie was very social and outgoing, but that's what made the attraction between them even stronger. She was invited to all the cool parties and took him to a few. Julie was very involved in social events, and Rob was laid back. As his final exams approached, Rob spent his days and nights in the library. He had been studying for them for years and couldn't afford to fail. Some days, Julie joined him at school. Other days, she didn't even want to talk about studying. Every time he tried to encourage her to try harder in her studies, she called him boring and she would go to parties, whether she had tests or not. Eventually, Rob managed to graduate with honours and Julie graduated as well. The graduation ceremony seemed like the perfect opportunity to do something Rob had been thinking about for a while. But before we get there, like this video to help it reach 7K and subscribe to the channel. When the graduation ceremony came, Rob got down on one knee and proposed to Julie. Everyone was silent. Would she say yes? He wanted to build a life with her and didn't care what anyone else thought. Rob just wanted her to know how much he loved her and wanted to spend the rest of his life with her. He even had a very special ring. It belonged to his grandmother, and he did his best to polish it. But when he got down on one knee and popped the question, her answer was no, and she walked away. As you can imagine, Rob was in shock and his heart was broken. He just didn't expect that to happen. Where did they go wrong? Why didn't she want to marry him? A million questions were running through his head. Years later, Julie came back into Rob's life and she wanted to try again. At first, Rob had no interest and didn't even want to hear it. However, she kept trying. 
Julie wanted to prove that she had changed and eventually Rob believed it and they started dating again. Six months later, he asked her to marry him again. This time, she said yes and they moved in together soon after. Not everyone was happy that they were back together though. James, one of Rob's friends, felt he was being manipulated and taken advantage of. He tried to talk to Rob about it, but he wouldn't listen. Eventually, as any good friend would do, James decided to support Rob. Rob's family was skeptical too, but they also supported the couple. Soon after the wedding, Julie became bored with the relationship. She didn't like the quiet neighborhood they lived in, so far away from the city. At first, her friends would visit her, but they eventually focused on their own life. Julie sank more and more into depression. Rob and her would take walks on the beach, but nothing seemed to help her. Until one day, she received a call that made her very happy. Rob didn't know what it was about, and she wouldn't tell him. Then, a few days later, he came home from work, and Julie wasn't there. Everything in the house looked fine, but her clothes were gone. What happened? Rob had no idea what was going on. Eventually, he found a note Julie left on his dresser. The note said, Rob, I'm sorry to have to do this. I have lost the will to continue in this relationship, and I have to save us both from a boring, unhappy life. This is not the life I want. I hope you understand that. I will always love you. Julie. Rob was devastated by this. She had done it again, and he hated himself for giving her a second chance. When he managed to calm down, he started thinking about what Julie said about living a boring life. Was she right about that? He decided he wanted to change some things. He was going to try new things and find his true passion in life. Rob refused to have a life that was so boring, it pushed people away. The weekend after Julie left, Rob and James went out to the beach. James was invited to a beach party and it was the perfect opportunity for Rob to get out there. James was shocked by his friend. Rob was dancing and drinking, having the time of his life. It was like Rob was born again. That's the day Rob realised that the beach had always been his happy place. A few days later, he decided to sign up for a diving course. After three months of intensive training, Rob was ready to go into the sea. He couldn't believe how beautiful it was under the surface. He realised that that's where he belonged and he would never go back to playing it safe in life. A little while later, he found the dolphin caught in the abandoned fishing net. That was his first diving experience. A year later, during an expedition in the South Pacific, a dolphin came to Rob again for help. Rob quickly realised it was the same dolphin he had saved because he had the scar from the wound he got from being stuck in the fishing net. The dolphin had a baby this time and it had a piece of plastic caught in its blowhole. The animal seemed to be very uncomfortable and while the parents tried to help, they couldn't get the plastic out. That's why they got Rob's attention. Rob decided they had to call Animal Rescue and get the dolphin to a veterinarian. Thankfully, they worked quickly and managed to help the little dolphin. After that, the dolphin was returned to the water and it was back with its parents in no time. Before leaving, the dolphin Rob had met before seemed to wave back to him. It was clear that he appreciated what the human had done. When it was over, Rob took a closer look at the piece of plastic and he was shocked to find it had his name written on it. All those times having fun at the beach, he didn't realise how careless he had been. He had contaminated the environment and a baby dolphin almost died because of it. Rob's past had come back to haunt him and it made him even more aware of his impact and of what else he could do to help the ocean. That day, Rob found a new passion and since then, he has been dedicated to raising awareness and contributing to keeping plastic away from the ocean. What do you think of today's story? Let us know in the comments. It's crazy how our past actions can come back to bite us when we least expect it. What matters is that we learn from our mistakes and are willing to do better going forward. Don't forget to like this video, share it and subscribe to the channel for more. See you in the next one.